We do have some breaking news, though, here on NFL Live, and for that, we go to Adam Schefter. What's going on, Shefty? Well, Shane, moments ago, Jarvis Landry, the free agent wide receiver, confirmed he's no longer a free agent. He's signing with the New Orleans Saints. And so after the draft, the Saints signed the Honey Badger, Tyra Matthew, and now they've added Jarvis Landry to go along with Michael Thomas and Chris Olave. And the Saints are building a formidable wide receiver trio. Landry is the latest player to go to New Orleans. Played at LSU, a homecoming of sorts for Jarvis Landry. But he announced it a moment ago on social media. He is headed to New Orleans. He becomes the latest Saints acquisition, Jarvis Landry, going back home. Mina, what's your reaction to this? Again, Jarvis Landry now signing with the Saints. This was a big free agent, obviously, a wide receiver. We were waiting to see where he was going to land, and now he lands in New Orleans. Yeah, it's just amazing how what is, was an incredible weakness for this group last season with Marquez Callaway, who I really like as their number one wide receiver. Now he's number four because they've gone so far out of their way to make improvement. Of course, Michael Thomas coming back, but also the trade-ups for Chris Olave in the draft and now Landry. This is a stacked position group and yet another indication that the Saints believe they can win now mm -hmm. with Jameis Winston. Yeah. Forget Tom Brady going back. It doesn't matter. He's going to Tampa Bay. Uh, they want something to say about it to do the New Orleans Saints. RG3, what do you think about this acquisition? Oh, I mean, I think it's a beautiful job by the Saints organization. They're trying to get Jabo to go down there and uh, eat some W's like he likes to do. So now he's got a receiving core that looks a lot different than the one he had last year. Well, absolutely. And actually, when James wins before James Winston got hurt, he was actually playing pretty good football. But to, to echo Mina, Mina's point, the Saints see an opening in the NFC. Look at, the, uh, look at all the moves, the acquisitions that the Saints have done, whether it be via free agency or the draft. The Saints are going for it right now. Mm -hmm. and when, again, when you look at the defense, the defense is going to be a, a top-shelf defense in the National Football League offensively. They've stacked the wide receiver room. They believe Jameis Winston can be a guy that if you can extrapolate what he did over that period of time before he had that ACL injury, they think – that they can contend in the NFC and try to, you know, try to get to the Super Bowl this year. Okay, so now we've talked about what this kind of looks like on paper, right, guys? Like, now that we've talked about what this court, or the quarterback's going to look like, the wide receiver room, but Mina, what is this offense yeah. going to look like now that you've had, I don't know, 30 seconds to digest it? <laughs> 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 well, I, I think it's going to look different from, you know, the last few seasons with Drew Brees under Sean Payton, although they do have some continuity, of course, with uh, Pete, C Pete Carmichael staying there. But really just because of the talent uh, and, and the fact that James Winston is going to push the ball downfield, which he will be able to do behind a still very good offensive line. And I don't want to rule another player out that we haven't mentioned. Alvin Kamara is going to benefit from the uh, surfeit of talent at wide receiver. He struggled a lot last season at times because defenses were so keyed in on stopping him. Now he will have more opportunities to both run and catch the ball and get those great yards after the catch. Yeah, Mina, you got a great point there. And I think what Damian talked about with how Jameis played last year before the injury, I'll take it even further. He didn't just protect the ball. He played at a high level. But now with these offensive threats at wide receiver and you talk about Alvin Kamara benefiting like Mina talked about, he's actually going to be able to put up great numbers as well. So it won't just be that he's not throwing interceptions. He should be able to throw two, three, four touchdowns a game with this offense and that defense getting him the ball back with Cam Jordan menacing on that defensive front. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.